Hey guys, this is Metal Stash again. Um, this video, I am going over how, what libraries and how I structured my programming style. Uh, this isn't necessarily the only way you can program in Unity, but it is how I've gotten my project to work so far. Um, I've been working on this project for about a month on and off now. I uh, I'm a college student so I don't have all the free time that I want but I do enjoy programming once in a while. So this is the game so far, not much, just a simple map with some obstacles in it. Uh you got your camera for your player and a light. I'm using the uh free version of Unity because I do not want to pay I think it's like fifteen hundred dollars for the pro version don't have that much money so you don't have nav meshes or shadows my first library or script that I downloaded and found was the A-Star Pathfinding project it's a very useful project for AI navigation through AI predetermined level and I requires that you have your different layers set for uh, what objects are in them and then you define your margin around obstacles and you hit scan and it creates nav meshes for you uh, it's very po easy to use and powerful uh, something that I want to change on this map is this little gap here between the ground and this elevated platform. I don't want units to be able to try to go up this side or that side or that side. I just want them to go up to this side. So how I'm going to do that later is uh, just create some boxes that are obstacles and put them here so they can't try to jump up there. But that's kind of something later I'm going to do. Not going to do that right now. Um, let me hide the graph. This kind of gets in the way. It's kind of annoying. Um, going on to how I structured my programming I started off with the player itself and it created a uh, prefab and that prefab has a camera attached to it so I can easily just drag in a player and you have all your stuff attached with it I also have a what I call selection box attached to it which I'm going to go into a later video because right now I'm just going into how I structured my programming style and what projects I used in addition to it. Um, I'm just using the basic mono develop I uh, program attached to Unity and I'm using JavaScript. Some people might not like JavaScript but it is pretty easy to use, easy to get used to. Um, not gonna go into code right now. Just kind of showing you guys some of the stuff. Um, for my objects, I did the same exact thing for my player. I created a prefab, attached mesh meshes to them, and then I just attached a script object to them and whichever script I wanted to attach to it. For this one, it's a selectable object, so I attached a selectable selectable script same thing as unit except it's a uh, child under selectable so it also has the selectable script and so does building but it also has additional building script attached to it um, something about the A star pathfinding project uh, easy thing to uh, add to your project because each object just requires that you have a seeker script attached to it. Now, I also have this simple smooth modifier script that comes with the uh, pathfinding project. See how it creates a separate category under components. Modifier simple smooth. All it does is smooth your project or your uh, paths out. This uh makes your guys move a little bit smoother so they're not so jerky um, 
however they do say to watch how much you smooth it because it doesn't account for world geometry meaning that if you smooth it too much you might be running into corners so if you're gonna use it I just you know they they recommend two to four maximum otherwise you're causing yourself problems as for any other programming stuff I that's about it for my structure so thanks for watching guys uh, and listening to me either ramble or uh, give you good knowledge for every, whatever you want to look at it uh, if you like the video press like uh, if you want to subscribe please uh, next time I'm gonna be going over my how I went about selecting objects from the player so thanks for watching see you guys next time